Hi, my name is Katie Brosnan. I'm a registered nurse here in Austin, Texas, and today I'm going to talk to you about medical alert bracelets. Medical alert bracelets are used to help um, indicate something that's going on with you or let other people know in the medical field or if you're found down, unconscious or unable to communicate to let us know what's going on. So they can identify um, allergies, drug allergies, penicillin, morphine, uh, Benadryl, things like that, things that you have a severe allergic reaction to. Um, they can tell us a disease process or um, a condition that you have. So epileptics also uh, oftentimes have uh, these bracelets on as well as diabetics. Um, and then it could also tell us if you're on a certain kind of medication that uh, we need to be aware of. Uh, for instance, Coumadin, which is a blood thinner. Um, some people who have pacemakers or um, internal defibrillators also will have a bracelet that'll say pacemaker or ICD. Um, currently, there's a lot of trends with medical bracelets. They have necklaces, anklets, um, charms, all sorts of things that you can buy online and have engraved with the particular thing that you want to communicate to the medical community. And the thing that is going to um, let or indicate to medical personnel that this is a medical alert bracelet is that it has a particular emblem and that's, um, that's the medical alert um, emblem on there. And so it's important to remember that you need to have it in a place that is going to be easily identifiable. So I hate to say it, but an anklet probably is going to look cute, but it might not be the first place that someone um, in the medical field is going to look to identify something. So putting it around your wrist and around your neck are probably the best places and wearing it all the time, being consistent with that so that it can actually do the job that um, it was initially intended for. And that's just a little bit about medical alert bracelets.